Special thank you to all of our sponsors before we get started. Uh, Mr. Josh Ward, all his family, Mr. Brandon, uh, and Blazer88 Foundation. Please, I've had them on the show here recently. They'll be back on soon. Uh, just go look them up. It's a great veteran organization that focuses on mental health. So please, go check them out. Project K9 Hero and Jason Johnson. Lori Purvis and Lori's Dive In. My dude, Mr. Brandon Bubba Marlboro or Marlboro, I can't ever say his damn name right, and uh, his company, 601 Roofing King, hashtag 601 Roofing King, it's one of my favorite logos, by the way, don't forget about our OnlyFans girl of the month, Miss Missy, go to Instagram now, look up You Found Missy, uh, y'all, she's a fucking smoke show, just telling y'all, uh, I'm excited to have her not only for whatever it is for February, but now we got her back on for March. She liked us so much and liked working with us, and we loved working with her. She's a fucking badass, dude. You won't regret going and subscribing to Missy's uh, OnlyFans, so go to You Found Missy, Miss Missy, uh, on my Instagram. You'll find her real quick. I think her uh, actual um, OnlyFans is underscore You Found Missy. So check her out now. My boy Seth and Down Yonder Hat Company, Mr. Kevin Knowles, Ty Webb, uh, everybody over at Cottonfield Grill and Back Road Park. We'll be seeing y'all here shortly. Uh, my dude, Mr. Ron up at Cashman's Pub. They also have Sophia's in the library. Go check all of them out. Miss Anna and Pearl Promoting. Look her up on Facebook. She works for a lot of the artists that we do. And uh, she's wonderful. She's wonderful to deal with. Uh, I just wanted to hop on here for a minute and kind of let you guys know uh, the next two days, which is uh, the 28th and 29th, will be over in the Sneed, Alabama area. Um, Cottonfield Grill is having its one-year celebration. And uh, they asked us, uh, invited us, because I guess we're all kind of family now, invited us over to hang out. Uh, to put on one of our Raising Grace Riders rounds, and uh, I'm stoked for it. Y'all, I know they're a sponsor on the show, but this goes not just for them, but all of our sponsors. Everybody that's associated with us is like family, and I am big on not just doing something because the money's there. Uh, I probably would have made a lot more money doing this already, if I would have just accepted any and everybody. Uh, speaking of that, also, y'all don't forget about my girl, Miss Erica, with Better Than Basic um, Marketing. She does our website. She does all our graphic design. I am trying to get her to work with every artist that we work with, every business we work with. When I tell y'all, she is phenomenal. She is, she's, Erica is just fucking awesome. Uh, and also, our photographer that travels with them, Miss Christina Martin. Please check them out. Uh, anytime I bring up family, it starts making me think about the people who are really part of everything that we do. Um, look all them up. But uh, Cottonfield Grill, when you go over there, it's just, and it's not just the restaurant, by the way. It's that whole area. If you want a small town vibe, like the good small town vibe, just that everybody is sincere, everybody's kind, everybody's genuine, manners all that good shit and a good time like this area is just so cool and i've been just so blessed to be able to bring artists over there um miss kim lee uh insurance and mr shane her husband uh, i don't know why the hell i just said her name in her company uh, they've been a sponsor on the show before i'm sure they will be again but um they treat us like family when we go over there they let us stay with them Kevin and Ty and all of their family, 
that cotton field. Like it's just, it's just home. And I'm picky. I'm real picky about who I'll do business with. And I'm real picky about who, as far as my artist buddies go about where I'll take them and what I'll put my name attached to. Uh, you know, we've had some great places that we're doing stuff with and making, we got the hummingbird and, uh, it took Lisa Williams a little bit of convincing for me to say that I would do that. Um, but now the honky tonk nights that we do there, the Josh Terry honky tonk nights have been killer. Uh, we just did a sold out one with Zach top and Will Mosley and I'm picky about who I deal with because I want every artist to have a good experience. I want to be the artist friendly guy. I want to be when an artist hears my show and I say, hey, come do the show, regardless of where it's at, whether it's at Live Oak in Nashville, Hummingbird, Macon, Cottonfield Grill. Uh, we're actually working with some shit over in Statesboro too, which is cool. Um, I want people to know, hey, if Josh Terry's doing this in the venue that he's working with, you know, they're going to do us right. All of y'all, if you're an artist, let me get a sip of coffee. Oh, shit. Black Rifle Coffee. You're not a sponsor, but let me tell you, you are responsible for a lot of shit lately. Oh, But, uh, like, I want the artist to know that if my name's on something, whatever venue it is, they're not just going to pay you well, but they're going to treat you well. And I take pride in that. And I don't know a better place. I don't know better people than what we deal with over in Sneed. From Kim and Shane to Ty and Kevin... Uh, their whole staff, uh, Miss Anna, everybody over there, dude. Like it's just, it's just cool. And I'm taking some guys today, um, today and tomorrow that mean the world to me. Um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm real big on remembering who was there and who was supporting you or a friend to you before you were shit. Um, uh, and every one of these guys right here. One of them I'm only kind of now getting to know, but the other five, they're, they've been there, dude. And I want you guys to look up their music and check out their social media and everything today. Mark Orriott, Little Skinny, Justin Dukes, Dave McMahon, Jared Hartness, uh, and Blaine Bunning. These guys all, when I first started this stuff, every one of them were doing stuff with me before they should have. Um, I feel like every guest we've had on, uh, every artist we've had on, every venue we work with has took a chance on me. And I'm just so grateful that there were people that were. Because there's there's a lot of people that have turned their nose up to me. Um, we just had Miss Erica, the girl who does Better Than Basic, that does our websites and shit, we just had her come up with this professional ass like invitation for us to start inviting people on the show with because it looks more professional and everything. And I had to do that mainly because I would message people and be like, hey, you want to do the show? And I was so used to my friends or people that I already talk shit with on social media being like, hell yeah, dude, I would love to. And it wasn't even that they thought the show was important or they thought that I was doing well or anything like that. It was they wanted to they wanted to help me build something. They saw what I was working towards. Um, I say all that to kind of say this. You have the opportunity today to help someone build something just by believing in them and being nice to them. You know, there's a lot of small businesses out there that or even it don't even have to be a small business it can be just somebody that you support follow musically um uh, or just like what they do on social media whatever you can support them by just sharing their stuff liking their stuff giving them a kind word being a real friend uh if they do own a business man you know you might spend another dollar an extra dollar or two dealing with them but deal with them i i I didn't know what it was like to be in the position I'm at right now and have to ask for favors and shit to have people do your show until recently. And that's why we came up with the, the professional invitation for folks to come on. Because unless they know you, 
they're probably going to need some credentials. And I didn't want to go off that. Uh, y'all have heard me say a million times about how we're in the top 1%. Uh, you know, I, I honestly have to get better about doing that. I have to get better about, you know, I pick on my buddy who's going to be with us today, a little skinny a lot, about being a name dropper. And it's not that he's a name dropper. It's he's made these great connections with people and he wants you to know that he's made these great connections with people and he's made them the right way. And it's kind of like when he does that, he's throwing out credentials. And I want to be more comfortable doing that. Uh, so you just kind of got to suck it up. You got to kind of realize that if you, especially if any of y'all are listening to this, you got your own business. It's okay to kind of brag on yourself a little bit if you do it the right way. It's okay to kind of put yourself out there if you do it the right way. Don't be a dickhead. Me and Brianna just talked yesterday, if y'all haven't listened to that episode. Um, and I honestly think me and Chad Prather talked about it the day before. But it's go about giving your credentials and putting yourself out there the right way. Don't have a false sense of celebrity. Don't think you're, you know, you're cooler than the next person. There's always going to be somebody that comes along that's better than you, but you should strive to be the best. Uh, it's just a world we live in, man. And if you go about doing it the right way, I think you earn the respect. Um, Brianna asked me something yesterday, and it was, do I think that, I can't remember how she put it, but pretty much do I think like TikTok has ruined, you know, <sighs> being able to get people that have talent out there and kind of shadowing, put casting a shadow over those who don't have a following, but are talented and kind of are catapulting people that shouldn't be catapulted yet. I don't remember how she worded it, but that's what the fuck she meant. And if you'd have asked me two years ago, I'd have, I'd have said some stupid shit to you. I'd have, I'd have said some stuff that you just didn't make sense until you realize these people are running themselves and their social media, like a business. And that's what you got to do. You got to take advantage of opportunities that are given. And, uh, you know, I know I'm trying to get better about knocking people. Uh, I still think there are a lot of people out there that are fucking stupid when it comes to podcasts and music. I'm just going to use those in comedy. We'll throw comedy in there too, to where you're not as good as you think you are. And I know some of y'all are like, Josh, you're not as fucking good at this podcast shit as you think you are. And uh, I do. I battle with that every day. I, I always think that I'm not. And then, like, you get a little signs from the good Lord or from friends that kind of remind you you're doing well. You're on the right track. And, you know, that's that's what keeps me that's what keeps me pushing. That's what keeps me grinding. And I appreciate that more than any of you guys will know when you do that. Like, this week alone, uh, or last week, I took a mental health thing. Uh, I needed it. Uh, I was having some troubles in my personal life. Um, also had to start getting shit ready for our taxes. Uh, yay, Uncle Sam. You can really kiss some fucking ass. Uh, but, like, I needed a break. And I asked you guys to please go rate the show. Go leave a review on the show. And if you're listening to me right now, please take fucking two minutes. You can do it actually right now while you're listening to me. Uh, what happens is it puts you in different categories. The higher your rating, the higher you rank. Um, the reviews that are left. We had a girl that was on the show uh, recently, and she kind of, not she. There are some fucking assholes that followed her that just, demean her and put her down because she's different and they went on there and they left a lot of negative reviews and it's just from that one episode and i'm trying to lift that shit back up we've been a 5.0 five stars this entire time and that one episode got us down to a 4.7 and like i said they left a fucking lot <laughs> so if you can do me a favor go do that because it, it really does help um, also please subscribe to our YouTube page. We're fixing to start posting a lot more, a lot more of our, um, 
of our content on there. We we have to go full video, and that's that's our next transition where y'all can watch us on TV. Uh, so please please do that. But not just me, but small businesses. If you want people to support you in your dream, like support them in theirs. You know, there's going to come a day that hopefully most of y'all realize like, hey, you don't want to get rich making, or you don't want to live a whole life making everybody else money. You want to own your own thing. You want to do your own thing. You want to take a gamble on you. And if you do that, you're going to need people. You're going to need supporters. So, you know, please do that. Um, and be kind. Be kind to those business owners that are struggling. Uh, if you walk in a store and, like I said, somebody's got the price a little jacked up, a little higher than normal than at Walmart or some shit, and just realize they're – they don't get the same price breaks. They don't get the same a lot of shit that some of these big businesses get. I, I need y'all's help with stuff like I do. I need y'all to be supportive. I try to do like our fundraisers a whole lot less now. This is a couple times a year. We've got one coming up for, um, what is it, Creative Vets because we got a golf tournament we're going to with them, and we're going to make a nice little donation to them. Um and then obviously Project K9 Hero, Blazer 88, Mission 22. We'll do stuff with all of them throughout the year. But like, we want you guys to support us too. And I try not to force feed y'all merchandise and stuff like that. But if y'all would like, hey, go to our website, the Josh Terry Podcast.com. Not only can you see the amazing work that Miss Erica's done. But you can order some merch and all that kind of stuff. Do some shit with my name on it, man. Take some pictures. We'll post it on the website. Um, you know, I'm just grateful. I'm supposed to be talking about like y'all coming to Sneed right now. And I know this is fucking snowballing. And I'll get back on track in a second. Uh, the coffee hasn't kicked in yet. But my Adderall has. And it's got me a little loopy if you can't tell. I mean... I'm really figuring out more and more what ADHD is. And I didn't know I could get it under control until I started taking my Adderall like I'm supposed to. Um, so God bless Adderall because I couldn't get shit done without it. And uh, yeah, I know this is kind of boring to you guys. I'm going to get to the meat and potatoes here in just a second. But I need you guys to just please leave ratings, leave reviews, go subscribe to our YouTube page. Share our content when it comes out. Um, if you're a supporter of the show, be a supporter of the show. You know, I am a big uh, bar stool guy. I like Dave a lot. Uh, I like Joe Rogan a lot. Theo, uh, Two Bears, One Cave. Like them a lot. Busting with the boys, all that kind of shit. And uh, especially Shane Gillis. Anything with Shane Gillis right now. And because I support them, I share their shit. I... I'm trying to start treating businesses and local, I don't want to just say local folks, but people who have shit going on local to me, whether it be social media, businesses, or whatever, I'm starting to treat them like I treat those big names that I just mentioned. And if I'm going to share their stuff and I'm going to be supportive of their stuff, why wouldn't I be supportive of, quote unquote, the little guy? So, you guys, I'm a little guy. I'm trying to build. We're three-plus years on this now. Uh, our three-year anniversary, I guess, was in November, October. So, we're coming up almost, I guess, what, a year and a half? Yeah, something like that. Or three and a half years. And we only grow if you guys allow us to grow. And I don't want y'all to just treat me like that. I want y'all to treat other businesses like that. Uh, I said something yesterday, and it's kind of stuck with me since I said it. But, like, I want to be around people that show me grace. And I don't think grace is just what you show somebody when somebody's falled or fail. I think you show it to them when they're coming up, too. And, like, maybe you can be the hand that lifts somebody to get them where they want to go. And I'm not just talking about myself, but all the love that you want to fucking throw towards me, please throw towards me. But there's going to come a day that you're going to need grace. And be the person that starts showing it today. Um, I really don't have like some powerful, deep ass message for y'all today. I really just want you guys that if you're in Alabama or feel like driving out to Sneed to come over to Cottonfield Grill tomorrow night 
uh, Thursday the 29th. Uh, from we're gonna probably get there like at six o'clock. Uh, we're actually recording a podcast there today. If anybody'd like to come out, we will be doing that at six o'clock today, the twenty eighth on Wednesday. Um, but tomorrow, you know, Kevin and Ty and all them. I think I really got off track with it, but Cottonfield Grill and them has just been like a home to us. And all of the people that they've introduced us to, they've been great people to us, and we're just very appreciative. Also, and I don't know why the hell I didn't throw her in at the beginning of the episode, and I'll have to go back and do it now anyway, but shout out to our OnlyFans Girl of the Month, Miss Missy. Uh, please go look her up. I'll share her stuff today on uh, Instagram. Uh, she liked what we did so much last month for her that she is going to do it again for the month of March, which is fucking awesome. Uh, if you have a business, by the way, that needs... Some exposure, need some help with their social media. I think I have two spots available for sponsorship for this month. If you reach out to me today, we'll get you set up and we'll do you a good deal. Um, but anyway, tomorrow and today, Cotton Field Grill, starting at six, both nights. Today's the podcast we're recording with them, talking about their one year in business. Tomorrow is the Raising Grace Rounds with all the names that I mentioned. David McMahon, Little Skinny, Mark Orriott, Jared Hartness, Blaine Bunning, and Justin Dukes. Um, if you're an artist and you're listening to this and you want to come down and you want to hang out with us tomorrow night, film some content, hang out, please do. Um, we would love for you guys to be part of it. it. We've got to get better about booking folks too. So the week of March the 13th, March 13th is our next Live Oak show. And that whole week, well, from Sunday to Thursday morning, we'll be recording at the Airbnb. So if you're listening to this right now and you're somebody who's been wanting to get an episode with us, an individual episode, please email me at jlterry87 at gmail.com um, and help us go ahead and set that up. Or if you're just somebody who wants to get on for the, the month of March, email me and let me know why. Don't just don't just say some shit. It, and it ain't about you having a big following or anything like that. It's about you having a good story and something that might change the world. Uh, or, you know, fuck the world. It might change one person and help one person's life. So, you know, we're looking for people. We're going to start being better about that. That's why we got the official invitations now to be on the show. Uh, I know this episode probably made no sense to a bunch of you guys, but I had to do some promotional stuff and I had to get some shit out there so what i need all y'all to do please support small businesses some support the small guy the little guy you know without y'all they're never going to get any farther you know if you're going to want somebody to help you one day or show you grace start showing grace today um i was trying to think like some cool ass inspirational story or whatever but i don't want to be fake um this is a promotional episode and i think we're going to keep it at that um, but anyway, look, I love you guys. Also, do me a favor. If you're listening to this, it'll take you five fucking minutes. Go and download the last hundred episodes of the show, if you haven't already. The reason why I'm asking y'all to do that, I've been kind of... I haven't really talked to you guys about this, but we got an email back in January. And it was where our matrix on the show from our management company had been kind of little messed up and they're just not reading right and i'd i want to book the system i want to break it and i know how many people listen to us daily i want to make it to where even with our numbers looking a little messed up right now uh and by the way what's crazy is our numbers messed up are still really good they're just not what they were. Uh, and this started happening around November. And so if I've seen stressed or I've seen whatever, it's it's been weird. It's been a weird couple of months. Uh, but luckily, they're supposed to have it fixed coming up in March. So I'm super excited. And I want to I want to kick this off with a bang. If, uh, if you see me on social media and you don't feel like emailing me, let me know some guests you want to have on. Shoot some ideas my way. Um you know, this is, this is, I always say that I'm artist friendly while I'm also listener friendly. I want to make this shit the most enjoyable for y'all as possible. Every once in a while, you got to drop a promo show like this. You just don't have no choice. Um, I try to limit that to where it's just not, 
bullshit, but work is work. And this is my job. And sometimes you just got to, you got to do your job. So once again, I want to thank all of our sponsors. Um, hold on, I got to pull this shit back up so I don't mess it up. And I did. Say, so, hey, I got to get more professional, bro. Uh, where are you at? And by the way, like I said, you can be one of these sponsors. Message me today, jlterry87 at gmail. Uh, Blazer88, Project K9 Hero, Lori's Dive In, Hashtag 601 Roofing King, uh, Down Yonder Hat Co., Cottonfield Grill and Back Road Park, Cashman's Pub, Sophia's and the Library All in Macon, uh, and Miss Anna with Pearl Promoting. Thank y'all. And don't forget our OnlyFans Girl of the Month, Miss Missy. Um, we don't necessarily have to fill this slot, but we also do an Artist of the Month. If you are somebody who wants to get a sponsorship spot and you are an artist and you're listening to this, uh, we showcase your music all month. We talk about you. Um, and we also feature you on our Live Oak show that month. So uh, hit me up. Let me know if any of y'all need some help with your social media, if you want to be a sponsor. Join us uh, Join us tonight, Wednesday the 28th, for the Josh Terry Podcast at Cottonfield Grill. And then tomorrow at 6 o'clock for the one-year celebration uh, of Cottonfield Grill with the Raising Grace Rounds with all the artists that I mentioned previously. So I love each and every one of y'all. Please show grace today. Help the little guy. Leave a rating. Leave a review. Go subscribe to our YouTube page now. Thank each and every one of y'all for all that you do. Promise y'all good episodes coming. we got some great ones for the rest of this week. And March is already looking like it's going to be a monster and very entertaining for you guys. I love y'all. I will talk to you soon. God bless each and every one of y'all. Hope you have an amazing day. Don't forget about our OnlyFans Girl of the Month, Miss Missy. Go to Instagram now. Look up You Found Missy. Uh, y'all, she's a fucking smoke show. Just telling y'all. Uh, I'm excited to have her not only for whatever it is for February, but now we got her back on for March. She liked us so much and liked working with us, and we loved working with her. She's a fucking badass, dude. You won't regret going and subscribing to Missy's uh, OnlyFans. So go to You Found Missy, Miss Missy, uh, on my Instagram. You'll find her real quick. I think her uh, actual um, OnlyFans is underscore You Found Missy. So check her out now.